Right, so the rest of the script goes on to your quiz master. So we'll start with some control. So when the green flag is clicked and the game starts, we want to make sure that all our variables are set to zero. So set answer to zero, set clicked to zero, set score to zero. Okay, that's important. Now you could play a sound when it starts and I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide or to improve your quiz later on with, with things like sound. And then we will have him saying, welcome to my, whoops, my quiz for two seconds. And then we'll have him saying, Click me when you are ready for two seconds. So the timing, you'll have to have a look. So there we go. Click me when you're ready. Okay, so we've made a little bit of a start. So there's the code. I'll leave that there. You can press pause and uh, set that up for your quiz just so you understand what's going on. Important that the variables are set to zero. Okay, so now that so we've said click me when you're ready. So back in our control, and we're going when the quiz master is clicked, and he needs to he's gonna uh, he's going to answer the quest ask the question at this point. So uh, I'm going to copy the question from my PowerPoint uh, quiz that I made earlier. So which of these is the correct term for an email that is trying to get you to give away account details and passwords? Uh, it's difficult working with long bits of text in Scratch because they all go into here, but you can do it. And maybe writing it out in Word or PowerPoint first and copying and pasting is a good idea. A. Hacking. B. Hunting. C. Fishing. So what we have to remember there is that C is the correct answer. And if you remember from our code, actually, I'll just I'll show you in a minute. Let's just think, how long is that going to take? Let's try 10 seconds because you've got to have time to read it. So if I have a look at, oops, pressed. If I have a look at C, C is answer three. So when the quiz master has clicked, say which of these is correct, and then we're going to wait until uh, we get a choice made. Now, if we've got a variable called clicked, haven't we? So when we hit, when clicked is activated, we'll know someone's made a choice. So you need to go to the green block. Now, I think you'll find that it may be in school, it's called numbers. So it'll either be numbers or operator. So wait until, now you drag that out there. So something equals something. And it is when, wait until clicked equals one. Then when clicked equals one, you know that somebody has made a choice. And so we uh, let's think what we want to happen. So if button C is being clicked, then it's correct. Now button C is answer three. So in our block, it's if and else. Now if you've already done the PowerPoint quiz, you'll have come across if and else, if then else, uh, as part of Visual Basic. And if you're doing the Scratch one first, then you'll come across it later on. So it's a very common construct in uh, computer programming. So if, now we'll have to go back to our numbers, our operator, if answer th equals three, then we want to change the score that's the correct answer so change oops, score stop the code a minute uh, what should we do we'll have say 20 points if answer equals three change the score and we can have it saying correct else well obviously we'll leave the score where it is and we'll just say incorrect incorrect okay so Let's test that. So we we'll start with the green flag. Welcome to my quiz. Click me when you are ready. Click him. Which of these is the correct term for an email that is trying to get you to give away account details and passwords? A hacking, B hunting, C phishing. Okay, so I think 10 seconds is long enough. Right, I'm going to go C. Correct. And my score has changed to 20. I really ought to uh, test it again and get the answer incorrect so that we can check that that works. So this time I'll click on A. Of course it should be the same for B as well. I went red 
the question A. Incorrect. Okay, good. So at the moment that's all running and pretty much that's it. Um, what we do need to do is to reset clicked to 1 after it's been clicked. So I'm just going to move that out and after we've changed it I'm going to click, just change it back to, to 0.